Rock Salt Musecast Experience with Aaron and Dave and back with Peter, Peter Field. Field from yes. Peter 118. And also, you were in a band called Ambassadors of Shalom. Yeah, now, AOS now, Ambassadors of Shalom. Okay, uh, just based off the name, I was like, Ambassadors of Shalom. I envision, I envision like some, you know, Hasidic Jews up on stage doing the punk rock thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? What was Ambassadors so, of Shalom about? Um, when I um, finished Senseless and was doing Peter 118, I met up with a guy called Neil. And, and Neil said, do you want to, you know, let's form a band, um, Ambassadors of Shalom. And I was the bass player in the band. And ne Neil's son was in the band. And we did one album on Thumper Punk Records. And that must have been around 2012 to 2013. Uh, we just did, it was just like, a one album band um, and we lasted for like 12 to 18 months. Did wow. a few punk shows, but it was, you know, I enjoyed playing with AOS. Yeah. And now where do you come up with a name like Ambassadors of Shalom? What's that about? That wasn't my doing. That was all Neil. So, okay. um, I was, yeah, I was kind of the bass player in the band. So. Did he just think it was funny or? I must have. <laughs> 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 I think it's funny. I think it's a great name. It was, it was a strange name, but uh, I, I could worked. totally see it on a punk flyer, you know, Saturday at the whiskey ambassadors of Shalom. You're like, yeah, I'm there. I love the AOS. <laughs> um, now you got PFJ. No PJF. Cause I was going to, I was yeah. going to ask you what PFJ was. And you told me earlier what PJF stands for. I was going to say Peter field and Jesus, uh, you know, but well, yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should switch that around. Yeah, you could be. The name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was, so tell me about PJF. So PJF came out of lockdown. So in the UK during COVID and lockdown, you know, bands couldn't re rehearse. We couldn't gig. We couldn't meet up. Um, so I, it was just me and my guitar and connecting with a metal producer in Leicester. And out came um, this new like punk metal sound, um, PJF, Put Jesus First. And I did um, a single last year called See It Through. Um, and then I did another one called Rise Up, which has recently been done. And, and I'm going to be doing another metal song, um, Psalm 82. So, um, and that'll be under Put Jesus First with the metal producers. Okay, so I want to, first of all, you keep th throwing out the name Thumper Punk, Thumper Punk Records, which I've heard that of that label. Yeah, No Lost Cause is on it. No Lost Cause. I've also seen, I've seen the logo. I love the logo. I want a sticker of that Thumper Punk Rabbit. <laughs> I love that thing. But, um, They've been around a while, and are yeah. they just uh, are they just solely like punk Christian acts, or do they? Yeah, they're they're the, the entirely Christian punk label. Um, okay, they had a, Thumper Punk had, I think, one of the largest catalogs going. You know, like um, Tooth and Nail used to be quite big in the nineties. Yeah, I think Thumper, Thumper Punk had just as big a catalog as um, Tooth and Nail. Oh, really? It's kind of yeah, like. And, uh, yeah, Tooth and Nail used to be really a lot of punk. MXPX, Value Pack. And well, I remember like Plank Eye was on Tooth yeah, and Nail yeah, and Goaty yeah. Hook. And, yeah. and, well, and and now you have Disciple that's on Tooth and Nail. Yeah. You, you have... Um, but they don't seem as big as they used to be in the 90s. Am I right? They're not. Yeah, the, you know, a lot of the rock and metal isn't as big as it was. Um, but if you're into Christian punk, you, you would now go to Thumper Punk Records and not really Tooth and Nail, because Tooth and Nail doesn't have that much punk stuff. But Thumper Punk, you know, have has all the if you're if you're a Christian punk band, you want to be on Thumper Punk Records. See, and I, I could be totally wrong about this, but uh, Tooth and Nail seems like a polished uh, label. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, well, they've they, been around for a while. Yeah, I, I mean, like they're. At first, but, at first, they were flying by the see their pants. They had MXPX, slick, slick shoes, and all. There were a lot of young, yeah, punk bands. But Thumper Punk, and I hope nobody gets offended by the the comparison I'm going to do here. It kind of reminds me of uh, Fat Mike's album uh, record label, Fat Mike yeah, Combo like Effects. Fat, yeah, like Fat Records. Yeah, yeah, Fat like Records. Raw. 
Raw punk, yeah. raw punk music. They're in the scene. I mean, yeah. they are. It's like punk records by punk people for punk people. It's all punk. Am I right? Well, yeah. And thumper punks do like Christian punk nights. So I, every time I've been out to California, I've played the thumper punk records nights and you get all the Christian punk bands together in one event. Uh huh. And it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's great. Um, I'll bet the prayer pit erupts. Yeah, I wish something <laughs> like, like that happened in the UK, but um, if it happens in California, we fly to California. Well, uh, definitely, if you come out to California, let us know, and yeah. uh, we'll we'll meet up for sure. Um, but I, the, the, let me get back to Tooth and Nail. Okay. Uh, no, the, the Supertones, mm -hmm. basically, when they signed with them, put them on the map. They just, they went to every small town and played, and they became huge, but uh, it would be great to go to a, like a thumper puck. Oh, I think uh, that would be fantastic show night or whatever. Fantastic. I would love to see that. Um, yeah. I didn't even, you know, I mean, I, like I said, I had seen the label before, but I see a lot of little labels and I don't pay a lot of attention. And, but this one keeps popping up for me over and over and over again. And now I'm starting to pay attention. So um, I, by the way, the prayer pit is what I call the mosh pit at a Christian show. It's the prayer pit. Yeah. So when I say the prayer pit, it reps. Does I'm serious, no, though. Does the mosh pit get crazy at a Christian punk show? It can do. Yeah, it can do. <laughs> yeah, see, I think that's fantastic. I mean, I can't mosh anymore. I used to get down in the pit, but I had surgery on my leg, and I can't do it anymore. The doctor said... Well, you're, mo you're moshing to God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know... Uh, uh, I was, I, I really hurt my leg and I went to the doctor and he said, well, what do you like to do, you know, for physical activities? And I said, I, I'm not really into sports or anything like that. What I really like to do is I like to get into the pits at concerts. And he said, yeah, you're not doing that anymore. <laughs> so I, I stand on the sideline now and I, I watch from there, but I, I, it's the energy that everything that it created in the room and there's, there's some shows I've been to that I go, uh, the energy's not there. And then there's some I went, I didn't think there'd be any energy. And wow, you know, and that's that's what I love about these these punk shows is you got, like we were saying before, you're all feeding off of each other. And there's this crazy energy in the room. It's just, you can't describe it any other way, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Does it, uh, does it put a smile on your face when you see this stuff it, going on in the crowd it, it does yeah and well it's good for community you know what i mean all the christian punk bands getting together because thumper punk have created a christian punk community um you know what i mean like, with all the bands and the connections and the you know there's a producer at saf idol from um um he was in a thumper punk band and he's you know he d produces all the records and thumper punk are gonna release um they're doing like an officer negative. Um, they were a band in the nineties and officer negative, a bit like old school ranted style. We're getting oh, like nice. lo lo loads of bands together to like collaborate. So I'm doing some vocals with Jet from CPR and then they're getting other bands from America and we're all doing a song together. So that's going to be like a thumper punk release. You know, it's pretty oh, awesome. 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 Well, you did do uh, something kind of like that collaborative with Rob from No Lost Cause, right? Yeah, we did a split EP. Um, that was really interesting because we went, um, we partner with um, like the Extreme Tour. So the Extreme Tour comes to the UK and we went to the Objective in Nashville and playing on the same bill was um, No Lost Cause. So I was chatting to Rob and he let us use some of his equipment out there. And we said, why don't we do a split EP? Oh, that's awesome. See, uh, yeah. Rob's just, Rob's a great guy. I really like Rob. Yeah. And I've, uh, I've met Rob a few times. He, he, yeah, he's top guy. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, he's doing a side pro project himself. So a little heavy, like heavier yeah. stuff. Uh, Swift Kick, I think is the name of it. Yeah, I don't remember the name, but I remember him talking was, about it. Yeah. Um. So now... When I when I first heard of Peter One One Eight, I thought that that was the name of Rob's album. 
And so I was asking him about it. He goes, Oh no, Peter one, one, eight, that's another band. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's where we got turned on to you. So Rob turned us on to you. Um, yeah. Now, where does the name Peter one, one, eight come from? It comes from Psalm, Psalm one, one, eight, you know, where we play to God and not to man and we're surrounded by our enemies, but God protects us. And that's where that's the basis of Peter one, one, eight. So um, how did that, uh, did that just pop into your head or were you yeah yeah reading one day and it no it just yeah. popped in see it's it popped in, yeah. the best idea is just boom yeah well, there they are i think that's how that's how god works don't he gives us ideas it, it generates and it, it, you know it developed into other things yeah. right right and it's well it's obviously grown for you because you know you 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 were talking about the the whole UK punk scene and how you might have been on the out and for some of your views, but regardless, the band has continued a gradual growth. Am I correct? Yeah. Even through the pandemic, yeah. right? Yeah, um, we you know we we just continue to uh, you know go wherever God wants us, and you know Psalm one one eight is at the center of Peter one one eight, and Jesus is at the center. So, you know, we've got a song called Follow Him. Jesus washed away my sin, turned to Christ and follow him. And we sing that at our gigs. And, um, you, you know, it's evangelism. Yeah. yeah. As I said, there's no doubt when you listen to a Peter 118 album, you guys are Christian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, yeah. and not, I don't say this in a bad way. You're, you're preaching to me as I'm listening to the music. Yeah, and, okay. Yeah, it's it's very forthcoming. He, he reminded me of the Altar Boys. Yeah, really, a, a band I used to listen to as a teenager, and so oh, I was listening to your stuff and and trying to figure out which ones were my favorite to play on the show. And man, I was like, man, they're like the Altar Boys. Yeah, you know they, they an updated Alter, version. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, Michael Stan put out an album a couple of years ago with Altar Boys. It was a little bit updated, but. You know, I like the old altar boys, mm -hmm. you know, where there's just life begins at the cross. I mean, you, you no doubt. That's a great song. Like, like Peter 118, th that they were Christians. And Peter's probably sitting over there going, I hate that band, man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> comparing me to. <laughs> no, they, they, I'm not talking about the music. Because yeah, no, they, I'm just they, I'm making a joke. They, they were more. They were punk, but grunge. Yeah, and but they were like, 80s. Yes, but and, but Peter is more. Peter One One Eight is more, as you said, old school punk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we made um, we made friends with One Bad Pig, so I don't know if oh you, nice if you, yeah. Um, they were an eighties band, so we played um, at Rainbow Rock in Sweden, and One Bad Pig were playing at the event. So um, when he when the singer Carrie Womack came over to one of the UK festivals, um, he sang on stage with us, and we recorded smashed the guitar and a couple of one bad pig songs and we put them out on the, like a live cd as well oh man you're just all over the place man yeah i, I actually got to see them in a concert yeah i didn't see one yeah. bad pig with the res band they were playing here. oh man you're making local, me envious now local high school so two bands i i would like to see that i've never seen um and we did um we did a cover of um an eight, another 80s band called blood good so we've done a punk version of their song seven so what, that was, um, oh, blood good, blood good, yeah, blood, blood good. good. Oh wow, all right. I'm because interested played, in hearing that. They played in Sweden also, so we met. We supported Blood Good, and we said, "Why don't you do a, a punk version of one of our songs?" And we did. Oh wow, that's pretty cool of them. How were those guys? Nice good, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, guys, last call some. Yeah. Nice. Um, I want to do another break here. We're going to play some more Peter 118. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to do some PFJ in here? Uh, yeah. PJF. We're, yeah. See, we're going to include Peter it. Field <laughs> and Jesus. It's what it's always going to be to me. I'm sorry, man. It's just what it is. You're going to have to fix all that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have to change your name for days. Yeah. You're going to have to change it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can do another break. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more break. Cause I want to, I do want to talk to you about some of your influences uh, because they're bands I'm really into as well. So, yeah. We'll, we'll come back on that. So PJF okay. right now on Rock Salt Musecast Experience. <laughs> 